the past. Strangely, there are people today who think life was better back in the days of yore. But why? Consider Louis XIV, the Sun King. Louis chose from 40 dishes every night, taking 498 people to prepare each meal. He was rich because people did things for him, and because others were poor. But today's average person can go into a supermarket and buy a fresh, frozen, tinned, smoked or pre-prepared meal made with beef, chicken, pork, lamb, fish, eggs, potatoes, beans, carrots, or he can choose to eat from scores of nearby restaurants, Italian, Chinese, Japanese or Indian, each of which has a team of skilled chefs waiting to serve at less than an hour's notice. Add all this up and you realise that you have far more than 498 servants at your beck and call. Of course these people work for many other people too, but what's the difference? In a sense we're all kings now. Exchange and specialization means you no longer have a wick-trimming footman, but a switch that gives you instant light thanks to hard-working people at a grid of distant nuclear power stations. You have no woodcutters to bring you logs for a fire. Instead, you have the operators of gas rigs in Russia bringing you central heating. This is collective intelligence, where everybody is working for everybody else to bring us whatever we need. And that's why things are getting better and better for humankind. So it's time to put the past where it belongs, in the past, and greet the future with rational optimism.